Hey everybody and welcome back to Teal'c's Adventures in Dark Souls 3. And when we last left off, we upgraded our Estus Flask and uh, twice we have more Estus and we used a Bone Shard to get a more potent Estus. So we're ready to move on. I set the bonfire because if I stand up there's more chance of being invaded. I don't want to get invaded while I'm doing my intro. So we open up the shortcut. So we leave via the shortcut. Uh, we tell that guy to shut up who tries to speak. Okay, he learned his lesson. We're ignoring that guy there, by the way, because he takes us to the DLC, which we are uh, nowhere near ready for. Yes, so we open up the shortcut, we ride the elevator up to the top, and then I don't think I'm going to fight the first enemy we see. Uh, because he's probably going to kill me if I try that. Uh, you should see him any second. There he is. Hello. So, I can try to fight him. But he's just going to be an absolute nightmare. So I think what I'm going to have to do is just run straight past him. Which I know is uh, not the best, but... Well, maybe I could kill him. It means going back to Firelink Shrine, though. Because what I would have to do is uh, re-allot my Estus so that I have more mana. Then I can just throw fireballs at him until he dies. Hmm. Then I have to go back and re lot my assist again. It's a lot of back and forth. I don't want to do it. Alright, let's sneak up on this woman. Take that. And then we give her a few perks. And take damage from nothing? What the heck? I'm not actually show what hair is there at all. And we know it wasn't hair, because she had, she had not even stood up properly. Got a deep gem there, because we want to upgrade our speed with deep, which we don't. And then up at the top of here, there's going to be an enemy ready to jump on our head. So you have to be very careful. Can I show it? Oh, wait. There it is. Good job. Slime. So getting past this guy. Best way to do it. Uh, just absolutely book it. Ignore the treasure. Never try to pick up this treasure. Because it's just going to result in your own death. Don't ever pick up that treasure. And don't try to fight these guys. Oh! oh. Oh, I was so close. I'm in. Right, need to be careful just in case. Yeah, I knew that. I knew you would have followed me down here. What about your friend? There he is. Come on. We'll retreat before we get punched in the face. That did not touch me, you liar. You absolute liar. Right, so there are a bunch of thralls in here. You guys know I hate those little buggers. There he is, look. What are you going to do down there? Eh? Nothing. There's one on this side. I don't think I can hit this guy. I've got to wait for him to climb up. And there's one on the ceiling as well. So let's get the one on the ceiling. Oh, Oh, they've got skills. That guy must have been like Spider-Man with Spider-Sense, because he, he knew something was up, but he didn't know how to heal up, because he didn't come and chase me. I've also been very unlucky in the fact that I've knocked two of them off without killing them, so they are going to be waiting for me below. And then there's... Is it just one? Yeah, it's just one of these things. I guess there's a Seek Guidance Miracle, which we're never going to use. And then this place is, honestly, if we're going to die here, it might be at this spot right now. Because up here is an evangelist. A very angry evangelist. Well, I might be able to get dro to drop down, actually. I never thought about that. There she is. Oh, here she comes. On that ladder. Oh, goodness. 
Right, come and try and get me and fall off the edge. She won't die from it. There we go. But she'll take a bunch of damage. What even was up here? An ember. Uh, maybe it was worth it. Got a snipe, perfect sniper shot on the uh, giant down there, look. And you know what? I think safest bet might actually be able to do this. That way the evangelist is not right on top of us as soon as we come down the ladder. Oh, she did not take a lot of damage. Um... Oh, you know what I could do? Whoa! Is get her to aggro the Mimic? Here? Like, if I try to get to hit me and she might hit the Mimic, then the Mimic will fight her. You missed? How do you miss? Ow. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. I can't see. That was no- I could not see. Again, the worst enemy in this game is the camera. You shut your face, I swear I will murder you. Right, again, we're gonna pop an ember. We are gonna run low on these at some point. I really hope we don't burn through them all. But I like being embered. I like the fact that somebody could come and invade us right now. And I've mentioned before, I'm absolutely terrible at PvP. But, you know, it's, it's part and parcel of the game. Up we go. I said, up we go. Right, now, uh, the evangelist killed us last time. That was merely due to the camera. Uh, we don't need to even aggro her anymore, because we can just quite freely run through this. In fact, there's a good chance we may not even get hit here. Because uh, we don't need to pick up loot anymore. Run, 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 I can look at this is the mimic's like teeth and tongue. Gross. Uh, so you find the mimic in a small space. Never a good idea. Again, I could probably lure it to the giant and maybe have the giant kill it. Am I getting a bit too cocky with myself here? And I could just murder this thing. I could just like try to murder it. Right, let's 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 get a bit cheeky. Can I even fit up here? Yep. Oh! Giant, please! Save me! He's trying to kick me! It's also a man trying to shoot me. Oh sweet! You hit that mimic. Hit the mimic some more, please. Excellent. Punch him again. Oh done, I don't care, he's nearly dead. Ow. Ow. Ooh! Now the one thing about Mimics is they are very powerful. If you're not full health, I wouldn't recommend even trying to fight one. Because like a single kick. Take off most of your health. Okay, we did it. And like I say, if I if I'd have stayed and fought it, I probably could have um beaten. It a lot easier, but I thought, you know what, let's see if we can get the giant to aggro it. Maybe it would go down there and kill the giant for me. Uh, so we just picked up a divine tome. You know, a, a brill one for what's a face. However, look, it's a deep tome. Then Miracles of the Deep. Now, the deep is not... Hang on, before I explain, let's say uh, I kill these thralls. I want to kill them before uh, I go down there. So come on, climb up and try and get me. Come on. I want to fight these guys up here and not down there below. Really? I get you. 
How, how, how am I this bad, really? How am I this bad? Oh my god. There we go. Anyway, the deep. The deep is, uh... Where did that guy go? Whatever. The deep is not a good thing. It's a bad thing, essentially. So we don't want to teach her the deep. It's just not good for her. It'll just make her angry. Right, where is the Black Knight? And where is that Thrall? Oh, there's the Thrall. Right, let's try this. Oh, my God, that was brutal. And there's the Black Knight. Anyway, this is where the Mimic was, so we haven't skipped anything. Well, that's the Mimic. We just came down here. Is this Black Knight... Uh, I think he might be bugged, or maybe he's been nerfed. But he used to charge up his mace and put landmines on the ground. Like this. But he no lo his landmines no longer work. Like, they don't detonate or anything. It's so bizarre. That should have been it. There we go. Just keep kicking his shield. Get the front stab. Yeah, so he hits the floor with his giant uh, mace after he's enchanted it. It puts these little glowing landmines on the ground, and then they will detonate, sending you flying and causing huge damage. They no longer do any of that. So I don't know if they've just been nerfed or if they're bugged. But yeah, I noticed this last time I was playing. It's weird. I was going to say, I genuinely don't remember this room, then I just realised it is this same room. It's just the archway. <laughs> right, we can either continue or we can play it risky. Uh, I think we should probably play it risky. Let's go fight the one enemy that will never respawn. Which is in this room here, guarding a piece of treasure. So I don't even know if you can see it by me looking up. But there's a big nasty in this room. And normally you'd run up, pick the treasure, and you wouldn't notice the big nasty. Oh, that legit made me jump. Big nasty made me crap my pants. Oh, good shot, mate. Oh, even better shot. All right, let's go in and murder this thing. As soon as that toxic mist goes away. Stop it. Right, it is trying to curse me. Right, I'm not taking any chances, just heal up. My curse is pretty high, so I'm just going to wait for it to go down a little bit. If my curse fills up, what happens is uh, I, it's just an instant death. Right, I think we got this. Nope. Okay, we got it. Oh, so we picked up a piece of loot there called Aldrich's Sapphire. There is a little bit of a lore behind this. So let's quickly open it up, take a look. Aldrich's Sapphire. Uh, that one. A Malfon ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep. Aldrich, famous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had a desire to show for us his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxuriating in his victim screams. I could have sworn there's a little bit more lore to that, because you also get Eldritch's ruby later on. Anyway, that's that scary part I've run done with. Now, for the next scary part. This area has several scary parts. There is an invader just on there, an NPC one. However, I want to kill the thralls in this area. But I don't want to get too close to this one, because there's one waiting up there, look. Oh, great, I've been invaded already. Come on, get rid of it. Has the invader seen me? That's the question. Because the invader is an NPC. So I'm just not sure if he's already aggroed to me or if I have to approach. So this is Longfinger Kirk. He is fairly annoying, I would say. So I'm going to try to stop him from doing all that. Stop doing stuff. So he has the Fawn's Armor, which is pretty cool because... When you're wearing Fawn's armor, simply rolling into an enemy causes damage. Albeit not that much. I'm sorry, I had to drink. I didn't honor duel against you, Kirk. Whew, we got his uh, Barb straight sword and the spiked shield. Uh, to let you guys 
in some information. The spiked shield is the weapon that I used when I went in my shields only run. You missed. Oh, right. So, there's a big giant there. There's a big giant around this corner. Uh, there's some thralls up here. And there's a big angry one of those knights around here. Uh, but also the shortcut. So we're going to go straight for the shortcut. Let's get this guy down. Come on, bud. Come on. Good boy. I'll take your hat. Right, we're not going to fight these guys. Because, you know, as much as I like to push the game a little bit, I don't think I want to die on the way to the uh, shotgun. As I was saying last time I was here, I was, I was like, you can jump over the edge. This is where you can jump over the edge. There's a mac and cheese man down there as well. Looks like might as well just break up all these. You know, it's, a, it's like 600 souls for free. No reason for us to be down there. Leads us down to the crystal bug and then uh, the, or the crystal lizard. And then you jump out where the uh, window is that you jump into. Right, so we're going to... Do we do this now or later? Does this group a quest? I'm trying to think. The order I need to do this. I think our best bet is to rest at the bonfire. And check the well outside. I don't know when this quest activates. So we'll check it now. Just be careful of these guys. Make sure to kill this one. There we go. Right, the quest for the well hasn't activated. Now, the elevator takes us up to an area, but I'm not sure if going up there interrupts the quest. I think I have to go through this area like normal. I, I, I honestly can't remember. Some of the quests in this game are really awkward with their timings. But basically, uh, I went the wrong way. Basically, there's an elevator up that leads to a secret area. And then going through the secret area leads you to... Hey, look, that's where our actual friend lives. Just up there. So the secret area leads you to the end part of this person's quest. And it might interrupt the beginning part, which would ruin the whole quest. So I'm just going to leave it for now. And we'll just proceed through as normal. Uh, it does mean things are going to get slightly awkward for us. So the best thing we can do is... Actually to... Hello. Kill the giants before they become a problem. Wonderful. That's it. I wanted to get their attention and not his. Oh! Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Guys, please. That's it. Come over here. Uh-oh. Has he seen me? He might have seen me. He's definitely seen me. That is uh, an issue I did not want. Okay, if, if it's just me and him, it's much easier. Alright, so kick his shield. Remember that. Kick. And then... Alright, I was going to kick it again, but... Spearing works. Oh, that went... Right where I would not want a spear to go. And that's saying something, because to be honest, there's a lot of places on my body I would not want a spear to go. Didn't have to shoot that guy, I just didn't like a slow walk. Like that spear shot pretty much lobotomized him right then. Uh, I don't want to do this. Alright, fine, let's, let's build the bridge. This will stop uh, this guy from chasing us all the way down here. Uh, but, you know, he's not. The thing about the giants is they're not that tough. However, this stuff here makes you walk super slow. Look, so it's really awkward trying to fight him. Uh, let's try it. We've got the shotgun open. If we need to retreat back to rest up and restore us, this we can. Fine, I'll, I'll go melee for this. 
Of the two giants to kill, this one is the easiest. What's your health like? Hey, you know, we're not doing too badly. Ooh, roll from that. Again, this place is such a drain on your stamina and your speed, it's ridiculous. Right, yeah, he's uh, half dead. Now, the next one is harder than this one because as well as fighting the giant, he also has some, um, you know, those little blobs that only take fire damage. Well, not only take fire damage, but are resistant to physical damage. He's surrounded by those. That drops us 4,000 souls. That's pretty cool. So I think this right here is an outfit, or maybe that one over there is an outfit. I yeah. This one wasn't. Uh, we'll grab that one in a minute. We'll go for here first and grab up the Joe Biden Trident. It's a, it's a pretty sweet looking spear. I do like the look of it, but I don't think it looks like a Jafar spear. And if anything, it looks like if ancients invented uh, Jafar spears. They would look like this. Looks more like ancient technology, which I, I know. You're I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Uh, the Gorul did steal a lot of ancient technology. This is true, but Jafar Spears is not one of those. I don't think. There it is the Saint Biden or the Joe Biden Trident, as I like to call it. I know I can't use it. I just want to put it on for a second. Look at this thing. Look how cool that looks. Also, we no longer need that torch, do we? Uh, I might as well keep it on, just in case we fight anyone back in cheese, man. Right, get getting out of here. So the only other spear that I can think of that would look more like a Jafar spear than this is perhaps the uh, Yoshka spear. But I don't know. This is just purely going from memory. There's the maiden outfit, the outfit I told you about. Roll! Roll, it's so slow. It's a staircase, at least we can run. There we go. No poison damage or anything from that, so that's not a problem. It's just the slowness is horrible. And here we are, the next giant. And like I say, he is surrounded by stuff. So we want to pull the levers. There's one here somewhere. There it is. I'm not entirely sure what this one is here for, if I'm honest. Because I don't think he ever chases you over here. So yeah, I'm genuinely, I genuinely don't know why that one is even there. And then... There's this one, which is done from a different lever. So yeah, we're good. Right then, let's... Fight. We should probably fight the slime things first, right? I got the giant is gonna try and throw stuff at us. Oh, he's actually coming. Come on, buddy. No, come over here. It's good. Dude. Ah. Don't you throw stuff at me. Right, we'll definitely you know, get rid of these things. There is a fair few of them in here. Oh, but he's gone back to sleep. He's turning his back on us. He might not know we're here. Good shot. Oh, he's waking up. Just get that thing. Get that thing. I'll roll out. Come over here. That's good. That's good. That's good. I would love it if you came over here. Don't throw stuff. There is no way that would have hit me. Not with the angle that you were doing. Don't you walk away from me. Don't you walk away from me. Right, there's two here, so let's go for that. Honestly, as soon as these things are gone, I'm going to quite happily go in and fight that guy. Uh, there's one there that I can see. In fact, I can see two over there. Do I see any more on there? I think I 
hoping I can just see three of them. Oh, he's gone back to sleep. Look at him. Big baby. Don't wake up. Stab that one. No, lock off and stab this one. Thank you. Beautiful. Also, I should probably start using fire bombs and actually use my, you know, actual magic. If I can. Right, I think that is all of them. So it's just us and him. I can't hit that, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, took it well, didn't he? He took that well. Right. We shouldn't need to uh, heal up for this. Oh, there is another slime thing there. I see it. Stay away from that slime thing and we should be okay. Why am I walking closer to it? Oh, that was cool. Um, he killed something that tried to ambush me and injured the slime thing. So, I'm happy with that. Don't stab! Where's your foot? No, he pushed me into the slime! Oh, he killed the slime. We should be close to killing him. Yeah. One more. Come here. Come here, please. It's one more. There we go. Woo! We did it. Got a decent amount of souls as well. Oh, don't show me that. Right, so here we get the uh, Jon Snow outfit, I think. Yeah, the Drang armor is the Jon Snow armor. Might be worth wearing his pants, maybe. Ooh, a large tight knight. That's good. Right, so this thing... Ooh, and a pale tongue is really good. This thing right here uh, was going to fall from the sky, but uh, it got mercilessly slaughtered by the um, giant there. Those drang hammers, by the way, uh, those are the Phil Collins weapons. They're amazing. But we're a, we're a spear man. Oh, yeah, I should have been two-handed my spear. Why was I not doing that? So this is... It could, it could be awful. I don't know. Can I get the attention of these guys, but not the big guys? Yes, I can. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to lure down these deacons. Now, we are very close to the boss, by the way. He's just down there. We're also very close to a shortcut. And we're also very close to uh, that quest with the secret bit. Don't try to touch me with your little candelabra. What do I look like? Some kind of match? Right, uh, we, we should get the attention of the big guy. In fact, we might even be able to uh, sneak up on him. Now, this big guy is very dangerous. Very dangerous, because he's got a big sword, as you can see. Cathedral Knight Greatsword. It's actually really cool looking. I don't like it. it, only took off that amount of health. No! Ooh, I didn't think that was going to hit me. Right, I'll drink up for that. I don't like that I can't see very well here. Thank you for slowly walking away and not fighting. We appreciate it. Right, uh, we will then kill these two guys. Hello. And then uh, there's a bunch of guys sat down who won't aggro on us, but we will fight. We just want to make sure we get rid of any potential interference first of all. Give me that thing, got an ember. Wonderful Ember Risky. Right, we want lots of space. Because what we're going to do now is we are going to... Oh! Hello. I'm not sure you managed to beat me to the punch there with my weapon swing, but... Sure did. Got plenty of HP. It's not a worry at this point. Just 
like I said, I make sure I get rid of these because I don't want to get stuck against them when I'm fighting. Because it is. I brought this the, the chair this guy was sat on and he hasn't noticed. Okay, can I do the same to this? No, I can't. But I can do that. Again, we get a stab and then we kick, kick, and then kick. Oh, don't kick, it's fine. It still works. Oh. So when enemies are blocking, uh, kicking their shield is a lot of stamina damage, so they break out the shield quicker. So it seems one kick and one stab is enough. Hey, cool, we got a deacon scare. So down here is actually the boss, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go uh, do the shortcut. I think there's also a piece of treasure somewhere. I think it might be this way. In fact, I think it is just over here. I think there's a chest. No? Must be rem remembering it wrong. Okay, this way it is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there's an elevator. Just double checking everywhere. It looks safe. This can take us up, and we can open up another shortcut. The final shortcut of the area. There shouldn't be any enemies here, actually. Right, this is actually the front doors to the church. Remember where the mac and cheese men are and the first grave warden? It's the area where we kick down a ladder to be able to climb up. It's just down there. Right, um, we're at half an hour. I really should end it, but stuff to be done. We'll begin this quest, I guess, then. Look who it is! It's our old friend Sigurd. We'll have a chat in a second. Give me this loot. Jewel charms. Excellent. So remember Sigurd? He's our best friend in the game. He's amazing and we love him. Let's have a chat. Let's see what he says. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. 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 Sig word. Hmm. You sound a little bit different to usual. Hmm. Let's go see what this treasure could be. <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. Thought you could outwit an onion. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. Oh no, we're going down. Where's the old giant? What? Where's the bloody giant? How dare you? Have you no shame? Damn. Damn. Damn and damn. Damn, damn. So, uh, that wasn't Sigurd. That was a man wearing Sigurd's armor. His name is Patches. He's been in all the games. He always tempts you with treasure and then punches you for going for it. Uh, so that should have begun the quest line I mentioned, which is why I said we should kill the giant, otherwise he lowers us straight down into his mush. So we'll begin the next portion of this quest and then we will call it a day. I'm taking the longest possible route back. You know what, let's no, that's not Homeward Bone. Homeward Bones are too valuable. Make a move up here. This giant. Oh, this is why that giant was there. Hold well on. You did. Uh, you did fantastic. Oh, that was way over. 
I can go tit for tat with you, buddy. Maybe. Hang on, let me get my... Uh, oh, right in the neck. Let me get my free aim on. I am terrible. There we go. Square in his face. So that's the giant, and that's where the Saint Biden is down there. The Joe Biden trident. So that's why that giant was... I'm like, why is there a giant protecting the Joe Biden trident? Doesn't make sense. I forgot he's the one here. Also makes sense why I was like, I don't remember him being here. Because usually I murder him from here. Like, I throw fireballs at him until he dies. As I said, this is the longest possible way back to the shortcut that I mentioned, but... Whatever gets us through this. And back here. As you know what, we'll actually begin the quest next time. This time we're actually going to go and level up. Because we got so many souls. So many souls. Rest of the bonfire. Take us out of here. Back to Phylink Shrine. Let's power ourselves right up. Hello. Right, is there anybody here to talk to? There may be. There may be. <laughs> no, not you. Don't laugh at me. Do you have anything to say to me? Now in Akka. Nope. Then how about anyone else sat around? No, we are looking all good then. We've got one large titanite, but we don't have two. Unless you can sell me large titanite, then I don't give a who. No, uh, we don't want any of this stuff. Don't want to sell. Ashen one. Just trying to think. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's I'll do it next time if we need to. Then. Right. Vigor. HP up twice. At 20 HP, I'm happy. Ideally, I want to get to 27. But 20 makes me happy. We have some souls in our inventory. And we really only need to get six... Get your weapon out, Teal'c. We only need 600. So... Two of these? Oh, they're way more than what we needed. 21. Fantastic. You know what? We've probably got enough souls on us to get another level out. So let's use these. That's another 8,000... 4,000 souls. And then this one is going to be worth even more. Like 4,500. 6,000. There we go. That's another level. HP to 22. There we go. We're going to take it up to 27. Once HP is at 27, we don't worry about that at all. We focus on strength and dex and get those both up. Uh, 40 each. And then maybe... Oh, maybe we should work on stamina beforehand. I don't know, I'm confused. Well, anyway, right. Uh, thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow where we're going to continue the Patches quest. For now, though. Goodbye.